Well, life varies as Jason Love with Jason Love's life. Today, I'm just going to answer a question that came in, and I'll do that in a minute. First, I wanted to uh, thank everyone for the congratulations as it related to the grant announcements from yesterday. And uh, today has been is a good day for me. It's a crazy. The next week is my crazy week, and it actually turns into like a crazy week and a half or something like that. Um, almost two weeks. There's I have a two-day event, and today I'm in this beautiful Airbnb <laughs> location, uh, which is a lot better than sleeping in my van. But I got this text this morning with that included this video. So I turned out the, this flooding, uh, and I have all my that's my office down there. I guess people in our area, a friend of mine who's supposed to be part of this busy week. Sunday, I was, we were supposed to do a family photo shoot with with uh, um, someone who I just found out they were evacuated from their house because of uh, because of flooding. And I guess they want to pull people. Uh, I don't think it was like flooding, like, oh, we're swimming. But it was like questionable when you have that much water in your house. You're not really supposed to be in there. So Red Cross, I guess, paid for their hotel. And now they're staying in a hotel. Uh, it's kind of what I heard, so through through Facebook, and I was gonna ask her about Sunday photo stuff, but I imagine she's more worried about all of her stuff, like <laughs> like I'm worried about our stuff. So I apologize uh, today. I'm just gonna. Uh, I've been in this really cool little town, and I took a lot of video, so I'm gonna try to post that stuff tomorrow. But um, thanks for again, thanks for all the congratulations and. Let's get to the question. All right, this is one that I'm pretty sure Leah would agree with me. <laughs> I'll try to get her to watch it. And if she has any additions, we can add it at our uh, our normal scheduled couch cushion Mondays, Sundays. I guess technically it's Mondays for most people who watch it, but uh, we shoot it on Sunday evening, and then I get it out usually like late Sunday evening. So most people probably don't see it till most of you don't watch it till Monday. So maybe we'll call it, maybe we'll change the name or ch switch something up. Um, Anyways, the question is, what will Frumpkin do when he's an adult? Uh, and and I, I'm not sure if they've watched a lot of our videos because Frumpkin, uh, again, I see my, he's mild to moderate, and I think Leah's is high. I think she considers him high function. I can't remember. You'll have to go back and watch the video. Um, but I feel like at this point, um, partially it helps that he's so young that, we, you know, we – are thinking about it but we can't really plan now because we don't know what the future holds for him as far as his ability to communicate um, where you know, like any child knowing his his strengths and weaknesses we don't know that yet um, and having autism it could possibly be to a level where he struggles but uh, I mean then again <laughs> I know people who are uh, in their 30s and they're living with their parents so uh, I guess living with us is a possibility uh, I know that I would consider group home. It, it, there's just so many variables. It's hard to say at this point. Uh, thinking ahead, and this is why I thought about the question. This is why I think we agree. I think both of us are planning that he will be able to live on his own uh, and that he will be, you know, like a lot of high-functioning autistic people where he, he'll have his own unique struggles. I mean, Leah and I both have our own unusual struggles and, and we don't have autism so I mean it's not like autism has that autistic people have that cornered I mean we all have our, our strengths and weaknesses um, and you'll notice that again with autistic people so that some of them their autism is actually a strength yeah I guess the plan right now is for him to live independently and to work really hard right now to to get him to that level. And so, and part of that is, and we're, we're still talking about this, is do we homeschool? We're considering homeschooling Frumpkin because uh, not anything against the school system, um, but I, and I, I really full heartedly support the school system, being an educator and realizing not everyone can homeschool. Uh, but I feel like school in general, when I was a kid, was a bit of a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that might change. We might change that. I know Leah keeps talking about it, but I also know that 
I think Leah both likes the idea and hates the idea just because it's a lot of work from the parents' perspective. The only way we'd be able to do that is if we could figure out a way to monetize these channels and then maybe make that part of our channel, um, doing educational stuff. Or, I don't know, there's, there's only a few ways of doing that just because of the fact that homeschooling is time consuming. Although I've been talking to more homeschool parents and a lot of them say that it's not as much as you would think, and especially if, uh, you know, if, like trip like this, you could count, you count that as an educational trip. So I don't know. I just re recently, the Felicia Day, I read the Felicia Day biography. Who's a, she's a internet celebrity, I guess. I don't know. BC Lester. She's, she's created a company around her, um, making videos. <laughs> so she's also a filmmaker, uh, but related to like gaming. And so sort of that nerd culture and nerd car, nerd culture celebrity maybe is a good way to put it but anyway she she was homeschooled so kind of listening to her story kind of got the impression that they kind of just worked on their own um i don't know how well Frump can do that and that's kind of like what aba is teaching him now is to be able to sit down and do work so that uh that was a bit of a long answer to a short question <laughs> the short answer is uh the plan is to have him live by his, on his own all right so I'm exhausted. I got up at 4 a.m. I'm going to do more work even though I'm in this cool town. Uh, it's hard for me to enjoy myself when I'm on a work work trip just because I think, oh, man, I got a million emails. and I got to make sure that I have everything set, uh, planned, and adjusted for this new water catastrophe. So I am going to go do that. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.